Hello and welcome. Today we are going to introduce a new chapter which is economic growth economic development and economic planning economic planning and uh, this topic will be discussing the difference between economic growth and economic development, actual and potential growth, the benefits and costs of economic growth, determinants of economic development, common characteristics of developing countries, the role of agriculture and industry in economic development, obstacles to economic development, the need for development planning, short-term, medium-term, and long-term planning tools, and lastly, limitations of planning in developing countries. So that is a brief adumbration of the chapter. But we will begin with our discussion on economic growth and economic development. And hope you can remember when we were discussing the national income, the topic on the national income, we did uh, discuss that uh, the one of the components used in calculating national income is investment expenditure. That is what we said when discussing the national income. And investment, we defined it as the addition of resources into an economy to produce more goods and services. We say that investment is the addition of more resources into the economy so as to enhance the production of more goods and services. More goods and services. We also say that investment improves the economy's productive capacity by changing the quantity and quality of the cap capital available. Now, the increased expenditure, remember we also say that raises output, thus increasing um, investment, I mean increasing income, okay? It increases income. When you increase investment, we say that increase in investment leads to increase in output, increased output, thereby leading to increase in income. Okay? Increase in income. And we just say that investment is simply the addition, addition of more resources in the economy. It may be the economy of an individual, uh, individual economy or the co uh, company's economy or the national economy. So investment is a uh, the addition of resources into the economy with the intention of increasing um, increasing production of goods and services. Okay? When you invest, for example, on a corporate level, 
in uh, say machinery and you buy a state of the art machinery within the company the purpose is to enhance addition of goods and services okay when you get a new machine you would want to do that because the new machine may have a higher production capacity so when you have increase in investment then it automatically will lead to increase in output okay increase in output which inevitably leads to increase in income increase in income okay because there, there is a relationship between output okay output production this is production increase in output we are talking about increase in production and income when you have more increased products or services then there will be high production in an uh, increase in business income the income of the business will increase the income of individuals will also increase so there is that you need to understand it's just a simple concept this is what we discuss when we are talking about the national the national income so in this chapter we shall be discussing how the economy increases output and improves the social and economic welfare of the people and this is known as economic development economic development which is closely linked to economic growth which is closely closely linked to economic growth so we're talking about economic growth and economic development and remember in our deliberation we say that we'll be discussing the difference between economic growth and economic um, economic development so what is economic growth economic growth now economic growth um, can be defined as the expansion of a country's potential output that is the expansion of a country's economic power to produce okay the uh, is defined as the economic uh, the expansion of a country's potential output that is the expansion of a country's economic power to produce okay and uh, remember i've just said that investment is made with the purpose of improving the productive capacity of the economy it increases the capital used to produce goods and services in the economy so that an increase in the level of investment expands the supply of goods and services thus increasing the level of income the level of investment in an economy is influenced by the amount of savings available by the amount of savings available if the volume of savings increases over time the total amount of investment also increases as the flow of investment increases capital also increase by a large amount this increases output and thus income and the increase in the total output in an economy is referred to as economic growth okay the increase in total output in an economy the increase in the total output in an economy the increase in the total output 
in an economy is referred to as economic growth. The increase of the total output in an economy is known as economic growth. And I hope you can see the relationship. Here we are talking about investment leading to increase in output, leading to increase in income. And you cannot have here investment without savings. Investments come from savings. When you make savings, then you'll have enough resources to invest. You'll have what you call capital to invest. Okay? So investments are drawn from savings. If it's a company, it may have, for example, retained earnings. Those are savings. Retained earnings. When you make money, you save. When you make money, you don't distribute to the uh, shareholders. You retain. You retain savings. You have savings account where you put the resources. Then that's those savings um, is what we are referring to as uh, resources. Those are financial resources, which you can now convert them into capital goods, like machinery, like land, and so on. Okay. Then you invest. Invest in machinery. Invest in land. Invest in capital, capital goods. Then that increased investment definitely leads to increased production. That is increase in goods and services. Increase in goods and services. Then when there is increased goods and services, then you will sell those goods and services to have what we call income. The income will increase. The income will increase. That's why we are saying economic growth is... Economic growth is the total output in an economy. The total output, the total output in an economy is what we are referring to as the economic growth. Okay? It is the expansion of a country's potential output. An expansion of the country's economic power to produce. Okay? So when a country has a large amount of unused resources. When a country has a large amount of unused resources, it is said to have excess capacity. It is said to have excess capacity. Excess capacity. If the resources remain not used, unused, then it's just capacity the company has excess capacity to produce when the country has unused resources like idle land idle labor idle machinery and so on so we say that country has uh, excess capacity uh, and it is because of the unused resources so the rapid increase in output the rapid increase in output and thus income can be achieved if such resources are fully utilized. Okay? There would be output, and that makes a lot of sense. If you have idle um, resources, the moment you put the resources to use, then definitely there will be an increase in production of goods and services. And that total increase in goods and services is what we are calling economic growth. Is what we are referring to as the economic growth the economic growth, the rapid increase in output, and thus income, okay, can be achieved if such resources are fully utilized. Increase in output arises from the utilization of the existing productive capacity. So economic growth is determined by measuring the changes in the physical volume of national output so that the rate of change in the level of national output is referred to as the economic growth rate. That rate of change, okay? In 2017, the country, for example, produced total tons, tons, say 1 billion, 
tons of goods. In 2018, the country has produced 2.5 billion tons of goods. Okay? This increase of from 1 billion to 2 billion, which is 1.5 billion, is what we are calling the economic growth. If you are to convert this 1.5 into percentage, so that you have, say, 1.5 over, um, 1 over 1 billion times 100, then this is what you are referring to as the economic growth rate. Economic growth rate, that change in increase in output. Okay, the rate of change in the level of national output is referred to as economic growth rate. Economic growth rate. G economic growth is determined, the growth is determined by measuring the changes in the physical volume of national output. The physical volume, the output, the volume, okay, is what we are referring to as the economic growth. Economic growth. So that is economic growth. Okay? Economic growth. This is a simple concept. So what is economic development? Economic, we have defined economic growth. So what is economic development? Economic development. How can economic development be defined? Economic development be defined. Now, economic development refers to economic growth and social um, transformation in a country. All right? Overall, we can define economic development as the economic growth and social transformation in a country. In a country. So that um, in our discussion so far, we have said that uh, economic growth refers to the expansion of output in the economy. The process of economic growth is therefore only concerned with the production of more output per unit of input in the economy. Okay? Economic development, however, goes beyond mere increase in national output by encompassing growth and change. There are essential qualitative dimensions in the development process that go beyond the growth or expansion of the economy through widening process, through a widening process, okay? And this qualitative process is likely to appear in many forms, okay? Remember here, the economic growth, we are limiting economic growth to quantity, quantity. Mm -hmm.